hello welcome back to the channel good morning everyone in this tutorial we will be seeing uh, how to uh, create a webhook integration with jenkins if your repository is private okay fine so what we will do uh, just we will create one small uh, description uh, private uh, repo right repo webhook got it uh, so what we will do we will just add here okay uh, we will select freestyle project so freestyle project i will write a private uh, repo integration with jenkins right so what i have to do it uh, first i have to select my git uh, github uh, url then uh, this is my repo which is private right so what i will do i will copy uh, the command like uh, i'll copy the http url from which we have to clone the repo right as you mentioned here it will prompt me that uh, it's not possible uh, because it's timed out and uh, its password authentication has been removed so and so so for this case uh, we cannot use github password in this what we have to do it uh, you have to uh, provide one token authorization okay so what i will do it i will add one jenkins uh, uh, reason uh, what you have to do is you have to provide the user right so if i click here what's my user id uh, asim.19 right i'm the user i have the user okay so how i will get the password now if you go here uh, okay so if you go here and if you click on this here uh, then if you go on the setting then if you go down you'll be finding a developer setting right you have to go to the developer setting okay create a personal token you have to click on the token classic right uh, generate new token classic one uh, i'll be mentioning for private repo right private repo i will keep it uh, the expiration uh, in this case i will keep a uh, repo uh, webhooks right uh, where else where else where else what i have to give some permissions uh, to this uh, token so that uh, let's say repo is fine readme not required uh, github action we are not using it admination don't require public key we are using a uh, repo hook is fine admin rook hook is fine mm, access notification okay as a notification fine these are the privileges which i have given for the testing uh, in your real case scenario you can give it as per your requirement okay <clears throat> just i will generate the token here right so token when it's generated it will prompt you only one time so you have to copy and save it uh, securely okay so some of the scope you have selected included other scope only the minimum set of necessary scope have been saved okay fine no issue so i'll be copying this uh, like github uh, i'll be pasting here token right this token we have to uh, provide there right i'll go just here just i will paste here and i will click uh, i'll give id is my private repo right id uh, testing private repo got it so if i click here okay still this uh, error uh, exists here so what you have to do you have to go here and you have to click here as you upload this uh, yes uh, the user and the password you will be prompted that is fine now it's approved you are thinking uh, the authentication has been done that means you have access uh, to access this repository okay private repository fine okay private repository has been done right so what we will do now uh, we will go back uh, to the repo okay just i'll click here uh, i'll go to my repositories back again so it should not prompt me anything uh, we have done for this right 
is a private <coughs> okay fine this is done so for this private uh, repo so it will I, I have the privilege to access that private repo also right so what i will do it now uh, i'll be checking the main branch right so i'll be mentioning its main not master right so here is done so what i have to do i have to enable github hooks also right so github is done so i will be saving here okay one part what we have done we have integrated a private repo of our github uh, with the jenkins right uh, the second step what you have to do it uh, you have to go in this repo and uh, here you have to click it out uh, then you have to go down uh, let me just check it out uh, webhooks right we will add one one webhook for this uh, repo private repo just i will check uh, what is the code of this is here just i will paste it uh, then i will write uh, with whom i want sorry with whom i have to do it github and then web hook web hook right let me cross check again uh, github web co right fine uh, then you have what you have to do it here uh, when you're creating this you have to select json then it will prompt you to add uh, the secret key right which we have created okay so from here you have to copy copy uh, just paste so it should be validated right so it first prompt what it will do it will ping uh, it will ping your uh, your Jenkins so it's showing me that it's already pinged let me see uh, okay recent delivery is done right so now what we will do we will just build one time manually okay uh, the build it's showing me that okay uh, what is a build <coughs> what has done uh, in that status console output uh, it is prompting me that okay uh, we already like uh, we have accessed this url okay the repository url which is in this web uh, using our credentials okay credential testing repo credentials uh, and we have uh, find one via fold uh, file okay from there we already access right so how do validate now oh, let me go and check uh, in the terminal this is my terminal right so when i go to this url like uh, path if i check here i'll be finding the same thing nginx docs and readme.docs right so if i check here uh, uh, so what i'll be getting i have the same right here and here that's fine that uh, the build what we have done is done manually right for this one we have done manually so now what we will do we will make it automate webhooks through webhooks right we already added in that so what i will do it in the readme i will do some editing uh, nginx nginx for testing right then i will commit right will commit okay uh, the commit is done so what happened is it automatically get triggered right it has to be yes it's automatically triggering okay this is how you have to enable uh, add the credential of private repo and uh, add webhooks uh, between jenkins and your github okay uh, if you check here uh, what should it uh, prompt you that uh, the changes has been done here okay is done i have done something update in uh, readme.md right so if i check here uh, cat readme so this is the thing ninja web server for testing this is what we have done uh, in that this is a case how you're going to enable okay so if you have any issue something you can go and check it out and uh, for this integration you require some plugins uh, that plugins default plugins you have to install it okay this is the king uh, through to which you can do it by enabling okay uh, the 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 basic uh, what i mean to say uh, the 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 plugins so what you require to install is that uh, the to connect to the private repo and public repo based on the use cases okay you can use a github integration uh, plugin okay with that you can do it right 
the plugins you know normally is github uh, integration plugin and uh, github branch source plugin these are the default plugins some of them are default github authentication plugins these are three plugins you require which you have to download it okay so thank you connecting me don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends